Hi, Chef Johnny here, and welcome to the Kitchen Shaman Test Kitchen. Today we're making some lively and refreshing roasted salsa. I've got ingredients here for it. Bright red tomatoes, sweet peppers, jalapenos and poblanos. These are from the garden out back, and cilantro. Don't forget the garlic. Love the garlic. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do today is cut X's in the bottom of the tomatoes. That's gonna help the heat get into the center of the tomato so that it cooks all the way through. I'm gonna put all the ingredients into a bowl. We're gonna take it out to the grill. Heat up the grill to about 450 degrees and everything's getting roasted right on the grill. Got my grill set at 400, 450 degrees. Red peppers. Now you want to roast these peppers till they're all the way black on the outside and cooked on the inside. This can bring out the flavor of the pepper. Tomatoes. I got my little X's in there. It's gonna cook them all the way through. We're looking to roast them until the skin starts peeling off. I'll show you in a minute. Down it goes. I'm gonna check on these in about five minutes. See how the uh, tomatoes are starting to split open? Yeah, that's what you're looking for right there. Oh, look at that. That's what you want on that. We're talking five minutes on the grill here, guys. Five minutes. Beautiful, skin's falling off, they're bubbly. Oh, I'm really sure these tomatoes are at 145 to 150 degrees which is where you want them. See that right there? That, we want to get black. Now, how you know the garlic's done is when you squish it, as if it's kind of soft. This one still feels a little hard, so it's going back on the grill while the peppers finish cooking. Okay, look at these peppers. Ah, <laughs> nice and black. That skin's gonna come right off. Beautiful. Remember, it was still really green. Not anymore, it's black. The paper on the uh, garlic, nice and brown. <sighs> that aroma of the garlic is just seeping right into my nose right now. Ooh, beautiful. We've got all our ingredients now. And the trick with the peppers is we're gonna let them sweat for just a little bit longer. It looks like they're gonna peel really, really fast but you want them to cool down just a little bit so you don't burn your hands. The tomatoes and the onions are ready to go. You want them right in the food processor. I take the uh, skin off. I like to take the core out of them. Take the skin off the onion. Give those a couple of wax. It's going to help the food processor break the onions down a little bit. You don't have to take the ingredients down too far because the blade in the food processor will help you out. Half a bunch of cilantro. Don't have to chop it up. The food processor will do the work for you. A little salt. We'll adjust this after we puree everything. Some lime. Garlic. Okay. All right, four or five cloves, maybe six. If you really like your salsa garlicky, I like my garlic. Drop them right in there. All right, our chilies have cooled just a little bit. We're gonna peel them up and drop them into the food processor after we clean out the seeds. Just like this. Skin will come right off. And get the seeds out. And just pop them right in there. This is gonna be some great salsa. Same with the green pepper. Sometimes if you get the skin a little too black, they don't peel really well. This is our little poblano right here. It's getting all cleaned up. He's smaller, so he's not as high. Now, what did I say? I said we're gonna start with one jalapeno because the poblanos are also spicy. I've made a lot of salsa in my day. Hey, right in there. Let me try that. Clean that up in a minute. So I'm gonna give this a, a whir around in the uh, food processor. You can make the salsa as chunky or as fine as you like. 
I like mine sort of uh, in between. Okay, we're gonna try this for seasoning. See if there's enough chilies, enough salt, enough lime. Roasted salsa. This is one of my signature dishes. Wow. <clears throat> the heat from those homegrown chilies, amazing. It's bursting right through my palate, up into my sinuses. It's gonna make some people very, very happy. All right, Kitchen Shaman saying, cook well, eat well, and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>